In this video, I'll talk about the average braking force. Most of you drive a car. When you drive a car and then you see a stop signal, what do you do? You apply the brake. Now the question is, how long does it take to stop the car? Or how much force you applied? That's exactly the problem we're going to do in this video. So here we have a car and the mass of the car is 15 100 kilogram that's the mass of the car and the car is moving at 30 meter per second in a straight line okay and then the driver applies the brake and the car comes to stop in 550 meter at this point now the car is in complete rest and it and the distance it has moved is 550 meter before it comes to a complete stop now you have to find out how long does it take to stop the car and what is the average braking force or how much average force you applied to stop the car. Okay, so, so let's write down all the, the given values. So the velocity, which is the initial velocity is 30 meter per second. The mass of the car is 1500 kilogram. The S is the distance, which is 550 meter, and the V is the final velocity. This is the final velocity. And the final velocity at this point is zero. Why? Because the car has come to a complete stop. So this velocity is zero. Now let's calculate the time. Um, I think I haven't calculated the time, but I will calculate it. This is, we have first here calculated the acceleration here. Okay, let's calculate the acceleration first. So the kinematic equation that I'm going to use is V squared is equal to U squared plus two S. Let me erase this one first. Okay, so here we're finding out the acceleration first. So V squared, oops. So V squared is equal to U squared plus 2S. That's the standard kinematic equation. The V is the final velocity, which is zero because the car is at complete rest. And U is the initial velocity, which is 30 meter per second. Two, A, we do not know the acceleration. So we're going to figure it out. And S is the distance travel. The distance traveled is 550 meter so this is what it is now and if you solve a you will get the negative 0.82 meter per second square what does the negative mean here the negative means if you take the any point here at any point the let's say here the car at any point the velocity is in this direction and the acceleration is in the opposite direction the velocity, the velocity and the acceleration at any point is in opposite direction because the car is coming uh, to a stop or the velocity is decreasing. That's what this negative sign means. The negative sign means the velocity or the acceleration is opposite to the velocity or in other words, the velocity is decreasing. It is coming to a stop. Okay, so once we know the acceleration, then it, it is fairly simple to use the average braking force just by Newton second law of motion. The force is equal to mass time acceleration. The mass is 1500 and you just calculated the acceleration, which is 0.82, the magnitude. And simplifying, it will give you the 1230 Newton. And again, the negative sign. The negative sign here means the force is opposite. This force is opposite. That's how you come to stop. Some, some, something has to keep you dragging to make you stop if, if you're moving. So that's what the negative sign means. So now let's find out the, the time now. We have, I haven't calculated the time here. So I'm just going to calculate the time here. The time it takes to the time to come to a stop so 
So again, we're going to use a kinematic equation, which is this time, let's see, I'm going to use V equals to U plus AT. What is the V again? You know that the V is the final velocity. And what is the final velocity? The final velocity is zero. And what is the U? U is the initial velocity. And what is that? 30 meter per second. Nice. Plus A, what is the acceleration? We just calculated, which is negative 0.82. So this is negative 0.82, and the time we need to find it out. And if we solve the time, let's use a calculator and solve it. So it has to be 30 divided by 0.82. And here it will be positive because if you take the negative to the other side, it will be positive. So 30 divided by 0.82, which is 36.6 6 second. 36.6 second that's the time it takes to complete to stop okay or you can also find out you can use this equation too there are lots of equation you can use i'm writing down here s is equals to ut plus half a t squared even if you use this equation you should be able to get it but this is a quadratic equation then you have to solve the quadratic equation so this is the simplest equation okay so that's it it's a pretty straightforward thing to do again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and at the end do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much